everybody. My name is Emily Meredith. Um, I live in Mississippi. I am a 10th grade English teacher, but I am probably more well known for my ridiculously silly cockatoo. This is Maui Lynn, and yes, she has a middle name. I actually have three dogs, three cats, and a bird. All of them have middle names, as ridiculous as it sounds, and they are all very, very spoiled. I'll give you a tour of Maui's house at some point. Um, but anyway, I've been asked recently how you're supposed to properly train a cockatoo. And let me tell you, um, when I first got this little bird, I really had no idea how to do that. And I had to do my own research and figure it out. But there are some tricks that people shared with me. Hi, you know you're on camera. Oh, you don't, you're going to duck. There are some, some uh, tips that people have shared with me that really helped me along the way and helped me figure out exactly how to socialize her. When I first got Maui, she was not um, very socialized at a point where she could interact with people. She was real bad about biting. That was, that was her thing. She just would bite you. If you got near her and you put your hand near her, you were going to get bitten. And um, unfortunately, I got bitten a lot. So I had to figure out how to work with her. And she's actually behind the camera jumping up and down right now hearing about her story but anyway so this is one trick that i learned early on come on you gotta show Hello. all right so when i first got her i had to figure out ways to pick Hello. her up without getting bitten and one of the things that someone shared with me was laddering. This is a trick that is very, very effective. And I can tell you that it completely changed Maui and I's relationship. And so this is how you do it. You get your bird on some kind of surface. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this. All right, you hang out right there, okay? And you need to teach them what we call laddering. Now, you can't climb up the, well, one thing you have to always remember with cockatoos is that they are totally unpredictable and it is like having a perpetual two-year-old around all of the time. So, let me see if I can get her down. Oh, well, now she's flying to her house. Let's go get her. So, I can show you over here. This is what you're going to do. You need to teach them to ladder. So, you need to go with a voice command and a motion. Up is how, the, how I did it. Up. And you see, she'll climb onto my hand. Now, from here, you can start to ladder. Let me take her back over here. All right, now we're going to show what laddering is. Are you ready? So, laddering up is literally teaching them that command of up and making them go from hand to hand. Up. Good girl. Guys, you're a good girl. And you have to make sure you praise at every time they do something correctly. Um, at least for the first couple of months because if you don't then they're not gonna they're gonna stop responding to you Like I said, they're just like a two-year-old. They're just like a little kid So if you don't praise them when they do what you want them to do, they're gonna stop doing what you want them to do So again up and they climb That's a good girl. That's a good girl. And then I'll do it again up Good girl. That's a good girl And that's how you properly ladder so for the beginning trainer, when you first get a, a new parrot or whatever, that is my advice. Start laddering, and I literally did this with her at least five, five times a day, and I did it for several months. I mean, it, it took two to three months. They Sometimes they don't like to do it, and you just have to keep on. You have to be persistent. You have to make them do it, and when they do it right, you award them. Uh, praise, a uh, vocal praise, especially with cockatoos and really any kind of parrot. You see here, she's screaming back there. Any kind of parrot, um, they thrive on that social connection. Uh, Maui is a Corella cockatoo. They are the smallest of the cockatoos and they are the most needy. And that's why she's screaming right now because she flew into the kitchen and I'm not in there and she wants me to be in there, so she screams. Um, but anyway, so I hope that that helps. And that's how you properly ladder. Thank you so much. And, you know, I, I'd love to share some more tips with you. So keep your eye out for more videos.